praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, well, uh, the Lord has spoken with me. And uh, in this conversation, he has spoken with me about the day that is coming to this land, the general elections that will come into this country. And uh, I see that at that time when the general elections take place in Kenya, a dark day comes over the land. A very dark moment when there will be a lot of grief and tense moment, tension. A very, very dark moment. A dark day comes at the election, but good enough, the nation passes through it. I have seen the nation pass through it, but again, I have seen the elections come, and it's going to be quite a dark day. The Lord has shown me a very dark day when there will be a lot of tension and a lot of uh, fear and all this across the whole land. I have lived it already. The Lord already made me live that day. And so there will be a lot of tension, a lot of fear. People will be terrified, you know. And then when, when they thought it's going to be bad, and then all of a sudden the nation passes through it and passes to the other side, and Kenya gets back to normal. So this is a very important uh, message for this land, that uh, we need a national day of repentance. We need a national day of prayer and repentance because the Lord has promised to sail this nation through the election. He has promised to see the country through this election. But we need to pray. The man of God needs to organize a big day, a national day of prayer and repentance for this country like he did in 2013 that saved this country. Because the Lord has shown him already and promised to sail the country through to pass through that day so that the third day that is Kenya and the lives of the people of this country continue as usual. So this is what the Lord has spoken today. He has said that there is need for prayer in this land because of the coming elections, that everything may sail through, that Jehovah may sail the country through onto the other side of the general election. So there will be need for mobilization for a national day of repentance when Kenyans go before the Lord and repent and reconcile reconcile themselves with the Lord. Because if the Lord does not watch a nation, all the watchmen wait in vain. They watch in vain. Kenya has a creator. His name is Jehovah that sent me, and he has promised to sail the country through. So that is a good piece of news for this country, and he's asking that uh, the church repent, the church turn away from immorality, the gospel of prosperity and money and lies, false prophets, the gospel that is tolerant to sin, the Christianity that is casual, you see the way the Kenyan Christians live, except for those in this ministry. So the Lord, the creator of Kenya, is asking that Kenya recognize him. He is the watcher of Kenya. He's the one that watches Kenya, all his peoples. He's the one that provides for Kenya, protects Kenya. And so I have seen the Lord promise. He made me live through the election already. I've lived ahead of time. But in that living through it and coming out on the other side, the Lord essentially has promised this country that he was going to save the country through the elections. However tense it will be, but he is going to be faithful to this country. So I think that should draw the people of Kenya closer to Jesus. I am not talking of any other God except our Lord Jesus Redeemer that he may be able to redeem this country and he may be able to come through with his promise. The Messiah is coming, beloved people. Let us keep our eyes on the coming of the Messiah. All these things on the earth always come and go, but the kingdom of heaven will last forever. 
and those that we use this time to prepare for that glorious kingdom, they'll be the most blessed people on the face of the earth. Let us return to holiness. Let us have zero tolerance to sin. Let us fulfill the command that Jesus gave, love one another even as I have loved you, even as your Father has loved you and sent me. That's what the Lord said. So let the people in Kenya know that the Lord has promised to send them through the election. That's a good hope. It's a good piece of news for this land. It should be a message that should draw all Kenyans to the Lord. At this point in time, at this moment in time, at this point, all Kenyans should use this now to draw closer to Jesus and closer and closer to the Lord because He is our Redeemer. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless this nation. The Messiah is coming. Shalom. Shalom.